Alright, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. In today's video, we're going to be going over all the rewards that you get from the Halloween event. I actually finished all of them, so I'm just going to talk about all the rewards and everything like that. I will be doing another separate video on all the jump scares that you do get. Um, I think I've gotten most of them, and I want to make a video separately dedicated for all those jump scares. Um, and then we're also going to do another video uh, separating the gra, and um, I'll talk about more with that very in a separate video with um, all the camos with it if you just try out different camos everything like that because I do have it finished but in today's video I'm going to be talking about more of the trick or treat event and how to do it uh, my best tips and tricks and everything like that and all the rewards you get so if you do enjoy this type of content be sure to leave a like on this video be sure to subscribe uh, we've gained a lot of subs from the past video from the past Halloween event me just talking about everything that's going to be happening um, so be sure if you haven't go ch uh, go check out that video as well and all my cold war videos should be coming out soon as well i've been posting them here and there so you guys should be enjoying those videos as well so yeah let's get into it so i'll have a bunch of footage in the background of me just opening chests or me going over all the rewards because i do like i said i have everything done um i do like some of these rewards i love these calling cards uh i don't i'm not really a fan of these sprays or uh or it was called the little stickers but the emblems for sure the last like four are my favorite i do love the killer moon one that you do get from stadium with the scythe i think that has to be like my favorite one out of all of them and then the calling cards i do like the pumpkin and i do like the um the other one with the scarecrow holding the pumpkin so let's go in order um the, i'll just have a bunch of footage in the background like i said of me just opening these chests um so first of all all these chests are you just have to open them at the specific location it also pops up on your mini map and it shows like saying like it'll tell you where all like the ones that you're missing the ones that you already have check marks so you guys don't have to take a screenshot or like a picture and look back and forth so that's what i like about this is you know it's a good pro um so if we go to like all of them, they're just random. It says, for for example, the one that says Storage Town, you get a spooky scene calling card. Um, there's no specific chest that you have to open that says, you know, open this specific one. It's purely random. Um, just you just have to open chest at that specific spot. So if I go to Storage Town, I, it's random. I just gotta open all the chests. Um, I might get a jump scare, or I might get the loot, or I might just get confetti. Um, and if there, there's nothing that pops out of the chest, that means it's not in the specific area that uh, that you have to open the loot from. So only, only those three effects would be happening if you are in that area. So if I'm at Storage Town, confetti pops up, that means I'm in the area, but I didn't get a jump scare and I didn't get the loot. Um, and if you got a jump scare, it'll pop up all with like loud noises, screaming, all that stuff. It would, that would be your jump scare. And then if you do get the reward, you'll see like a jack-o'-lantern effect and you see like crows popping out. Um, it'll also pop up on your screen that you did receive a reward and you know, you do receive the reward. Another thing is that person, like let's say you are playing with squads or something like that, only the person who opens the chest gets the reward. It's not like a whole team type of thing where like if I open it, my other two friends are in the uh, lobby with me, they get the reward. No, you specifically have to open the chest and luckily have to get the reward it's just like that and it's purely random if you can get the reward because i for the one for dam the i doubt the damn one was the last one i had to get and that one took me the longest because uh, so many people are trying to go to dam at the moment um if you are trying to go for this i would probably probably wait if you if you're not like in a hurry definitely wait let the people calm down a bit uh but for me i was just trying to rush it just so i can make out a video just talking about all the rewards and just how to get it but definitely damn superstore i think we're the hardest ones just because so many people land there and there's a limited amount of chests so that's why those are harder and uh, to get but everything else is pretty easy it's and a lot of people were confused on the one that says train uh they didn't it says locations vary so when i saw this i thought you had to go to like train station so some parts of train station do work for some reason but when I thought of this, I got it on the actual train that moves around the map. So you have to open that chest. Um, and there's like five or six chests and you know, you can open that. So this one, it just really depends. You could try train station because it worked for my friend. He got it on train station. But for me, I actually got it on the actual train that moves around the map and I opened the chest and I actually got it. So you guys can try either or, but definitely I recommend the one on the train because I know one that's confirmed 100%. So try the train that moves around the map. You might get it, you might not. There's like six or different, six or seven different chests. And then another thing, was it says gulag instead of prison and people thought oh does that mean i have to get it on the gulag like underneath the, the prison no it just means they think it's a miswriting part on their part um it should just say prison because 
you literally you can open chests like on the top you could open chests like um in the little towers because i opened mine right in the tower and i got mine instantly so i didn't even have to worry about it of me just like searching around or anything like that and you do get a carver uh melee weapon so i kind of do that uh kind of enjoy that i'll probably save the carver for another video uh just so i can separate out all these videos like because i don't want to make one long video and then just like a lot of people aren't gonna enjoy it or anything like that so i'd rather separate them so it, like if people are here for the rewards you know that type of thing but I'll quickly go over the rewards and just you know um just talk about them so there is a, so from storage town you do get a calling card it's epic spooky scene it's a scarecrow with a little jack-o-lantern then we do get a charm at boneyard you get a jack-o-lantern charm um i really hope that it was like lighting or anything like that maybe it had like an effect um but we didn't get anything like that then we have a spray at superstore called corpse on the dam you get a legendary watch it's like an orange one it's t uh, time of the season um i don't have footage of that one sadly because um i wasn't recording because i was I was spamming record for like so long, but it just didn't record. So sadly, I don't have footage of that, but I have footage of everything else. Um, hills, you get a little demon. Uh, for some reason, for hills, you can open stuff at promenade and it'll count as hills. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but yeah, if you open stuff at promenade, it does count. Um, airport, you do get the Joker sticker. I thought that was an uh, emblem, but it's not, sadly. Um, then a train, the little train that goes all over the map, you do get a woodsman uh, spray. Then when we go to the military base, you get Return to Dust Assault Rifle. So I'll probably show that in a separate video with the Graw and everything like that so you guys can see both of those. Or I might just completely separate that as a whole different video. But um, Return to Dust Assault Rifle. Then for Hospital, you get Pumpkin Peril Calling Card. This one's like a really decent calling card. So I definitely recommend going to the hospital, opening a chest, and just luckily trying to get it. Uh, TV Station, you get an Oak Spray. Uh, some people have been saying that TV Station's a bit difficult for them. It's just the chest spawns are random. Um, I highly recommend going to Plunder. Plunder will help you out a bit because plunder um the chest spawns are way easier to get so i would highly recommend that and if and if if there's a lot of people going to a specific area like dam for example you can easily go to like the zombie mode or like the nighttime mode for um uh, the trios uh trick or trios i think it's i think it's called go to that one go to dam uh less people are more likely to not be there so it's easier um, when you go to downtown, you get a chainsaw fiend spray. Uh, Quarry gives you a flashy fate spray, or not spray, sticker. And then Stadium gives you the Killer Moon one, which I really like. This is definitely going to be my calling card for a while. Uh, you know, it's not going to change that much. Then uh, Port, you get a ghoulish gift. It's basically a scarecrow holding the jack o' lantern um, as an emblem. And then for Lumb uh, Lumberyard, uh, you get the scary patch, which is basically three jack o' lanterns uh, just moving around. As an emblem and then finally uh you, you can go to the gulag or hashtag or basically means prison um you can unlock the cleaver melee weapon which is pretty cool so i'll have that as a separate video as well but those are all the rewards you get the, the for the event um i'll be sure to like showcase them uh throughout the video uh, as much as i can but those are all the rewards i finished all 16 uh and it does tell you how to do the um uh, how to find this you basically search crates in for dance find the tree um, and you get bonus rewards for which is just the Halloween blueprint so I'll have another video talking about those so be sure to subscribe uh, like this video turn your notifications because I'm gonna have another video soon talking about the reward that you get which is the Graw and then I'll have another video for the for the melee weapon the carver and then another video for the Odin because just because I want to separate those videos I don't want to get confusion uh, between the whole community so that's why I'm gonna separate those so people can uh, venture out and see those camos with uh, Damascus gold um, all that type of stuff so yeah if you do enjoy this type of content be sure to leave a like on this video be sure to subscribe like I said hopefully you can reach 800 subs we've been growing at a massive rate so hopefully you can reach there sooner or later um, also leave a comment if you guys have any questions about the event anything like that I'll try to help out as best I can um, if you need any advice or anything like that and also you guys can add me on all my social medias uh, you guys can like to DM me or anything like that I mainly use Instagram so you guys can DM me on there or um, add my Activision ID uh, it's the real almond just look me up on Xbox as well all that type of stuff is in the description and yeah if you do want to support the channel I do have a link of that into the description as well so yeah I'll talk to you guys in my next video peace out guys